Hello, it's Sasha from Everyday She's Sparkling. I want to show you, I'm really excited about this, um, about how to create templates in Gutenberg. So if you've seen my other videos, I had a video on navigating uh, through the new Gutenberg editor in WordPress. And um, I've also done a video on creating reusable blocks. And what I found is I can combine <clears throat> the um, added in plugins um, that have new and um, different block formats. So the one I'm going to use today is actually Atomic Blocks, and that's just a plugin. So I'm going to use Atomic Blocks and Gutenberg, and we're going to create an actual content template. So why would you do this? Well, I would do it for speed um, and ease of use. I create uh, batch blog content, and for me, it's easier to um, go in quickly, throw down a template and fill it in if I'm doing quick drafts. So I want to show you how fast and easy it is to combine using reusable blocks and the atomic block plugin. And you can easily create yourself a template that you can use over and over again. So um, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, you have to set the template up once. So you can open a new post. Um, we're going to just create the template. We're going to actually save it all as one reusable block. And then you can actually delete the post. You don't need it anymore. The reusable block will be available in your future posts. So it's super easy to do. The first thing you have to do is you want to add a block. So you can do it here or you can do it up here. So let's add this block. The block we need to add is we need to. So you have to install Atomic Blocks first. Um, but if we use the Atomic Blocks container block, so what this does is it allows us to have blocks within blocks. So you have to add your first block. And I'm going to set it up as if I was doing, say, a, a general blog post, say the sort of idea or the layout that I like to use. So we always have a title. And then second, um, I usually have a tag title. So I'll use a heading too, and I'll use another variation of my long tail keywords and create some kind of either a question or um, something that goes along with my actual title itself. Um, so I'll we'll just put this in here as tag title. Okay, now we're you can tell we're in with the container. So you can see here I'm in within a block. If I just hover, it says I'm still in the container here. And I'll stay within the container until I come out of the container. If I made a block down here, it's not within the container, but this is in the container. So we can do a couple of things. You can either enter uh, and it'll start a new block we'll do it that way. So we enter here. We're still, let's see if you hover. There we go. I'm still within the container. So the next thing I do is I'd like to have a call to action. And you can see within the container now, this plus mark, instead of being over here, is over here within the container. So I'm going to add a call to action. And I'm using my reusable block. So you can watch. I did do a video on that earlier. You can find that on YouTube or on my freebies resources page. And I'm going to go here and I want to have a sign up for my freebies. So I've already created a reusable block for that. So that's going to be my first call to action. So the next block that I'm going to have is I'm going to start with my points. Um, so my name body points. So I use these as heading three. So this tag title was heading two and then heading three. So this is going to look like... Um, heading one and then we can just press enter here it'll stay within the block one and again you can tell we're still in the container because of this blue block around it but there's also this plus mark so we're going to go here we want this to be heading three heading list level three so but we're going to say this is heading number two or paragraph point number two i guess And we want it to be heading. So usually three headings, um, a minimum of three headings. If I had more than three headings, I'd probably put another call to action. I usually put only just the two. It's actually something that I've been looking at trying to do for a long time, and I had run across a post in... Um, on Twitter, actually, that said um, creating content or blocks within blocks or creating content within content. 
And I thought, oh, that is such a great idea. So I went into the post and it actually was all on coding. And so I, <clears throat> coding is not my game. Um, and so I kind of gave up right there, but I fiddled around with it a bit more and realized that I could do it. I just had to get around it. So I've got my three main heading points. And I'm going to show you after if you have more than three. Because you might think, I don't want to just have three. What if I have five? What if I have 10? Whatever. I'll show you how to do that. Or what if I want to change? What if I don't want a paragraph? What if I want it to be a list instead? Um, that's not a problem. Um, I'll show you after it's all done how we can fix that. So at the end, I'm going to have another call to action. And again, I'm going to add a block. And I'm going to add one of my reusable blocks. Um, and let's make this one the ultimate blogging toolkit for beginners. Um, I've already got this set up as a reusable block, like I said, and it links directly to my landing page. And then, so we want to add after that, we're going to have a conclusion. So you can put a conclusion as just a paragraph or a header three. I'll put it as a header three because you can see another spot where you can add in some long tail keywords. The last one I'm going to put here, I think I came out of the block. I did. Okay, so that's okay. We'll make sure that we got in the block. Oh, I don't want it. It's a header three. I'm going to remove this block. So again, it's good to check every once in a while to make sure that you're still in. You can see this really pale gray, and that shows that we're in this container still, right? Maybe container heading. Okay. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my signature again, which is a reusable block. Am I still in there? I feel like it got popped out. Let's make sure. I don't think. No. So I wasn't. So you just got to make sure that you're in there. I just uh, I wasn't there. That's OK. So we can delete that. So all of these are within the big content container. You can see that they're all in here. It shows which ones are reusable blocks. Um, and then I would name this. So we're going to actually take all of these elements and make them one reusable block. Um, and I would name the reusable block based on what call to actions you're using. So in this one, I have a sign up for my freebies and my ultimate blogging toolkit. So this would be good for any posts that I'm using that are for beginner bloggers, for blogging tips, for um, that kind of stuff, um, side hustles, whatever I want to talk about, um, because depending on your call to action. So if, if this call to action was, say, maybe my uh, pin like a pro guide, then I would want to make sure that this has something to do with marketing or Pinterest or Tailwind or something like that, if that makes sense. So, um, you know, you might have a few of these content templates. Um, so just name them so that you know which one to choose. So we're going to add this whole content thing to reusable blocks. So I'm going to call this, um, call this one starting a blog template or beginners bloggers template or whatever you want to call it. You can manage that after in um, up here to manage all of the reusable blocks here. Okay. So I'm going to actually delete this just so I can show you exactly what you need to do. So now let's say we're starting a new post here, whatever it might be. We're going to make a post on starting a blog. Okay. So we want to just quick and easy. We want to be able to drop in our template. So we go here to add a blog or we can go up here again, scroll to the bottom and reusables are here. So I've got, and you can scroll over top of it. It'll actually show you. So you can see it was a container starting a blog template, we're going to click here. So it automatically populates. And so you're like, oh, okay, okay, that's great. Now, how do I edit this thing? So because when you're trying to, you can't, you don't actually want to edit here because when you change this content um, as a reusable block, you'll change all of the content that you ever used in it. So let's say I have two posts, I've used the same template and I just edit it in the second one. If I just edit it, everything that I edit in the second one is going to change in the first one. So you don't want to use edit. What you want to do is click on these three dots and we want to convert them to regular blocks. So now all of a sudden they're all their own free form block. 
and so then if you had more headings or you wanted to make, um, you know, maybe you had, uh, you want to add a list above here, you could, um, or you had an extra heading, you can, or you want to add an additional call to action, maybe you can do that. Um, you can add one in there. And so the options are endless, but the important thing is that you don't want to edit the actual reusable block. What you want to do is you want to change them to regular blocks so that you're not changing the content of the regular one. So then all you would do is, this is just a simple, um, fast way to go in, you know, if you were doing a quick draft, you could just say, you know, getting set up. Um, uh, we're setting up WordPress and be about right our first post. So the beauty here is that you can kind of get your layout really quickly. You could use um, the paragraph to put out your main ideas. And then as you're working on content, everything is kind of already set up for you and ready to go. So that's that. If you wanted to edit how your content block looks, you can certainly do that. Um, you just have to go over here and, like I said, go to manage all reusable blocks and you can make changes to that. So that's it. Super fast and easy way of um, creating reusable templates. And um, it should definitely help if you do any batch content creation. Um, this helps with speediness for sure. So I'm interested to hear what you all think of this. Drop me a comment. Um, if you think this is a great idea, if you've tried it, if you're going to try it, um, if you think it might work for you, I'm interested to hear how it helps. So hope you're having a great day. Take care.